44 dwell around. Breaking hearts with a crown, her sweater on. Breaking charts on house arrest. I ain't left from my Y'all, what is up? Today is the day, y'all. Today's the day that the interior of the G35 finally gets finished. Finish lies? Finalize. And I'm pretty excited, y'all. So not only are we gonna put the seats, we're gonna install seats, door cards, panel trim, the rear like speaker trim, whatever you call that upper area, that too. Um, what else came out? The the I'm forgetting everything right now, but anyways, y'all. Oh, the dash, the center console. The only thing that's not gonna be installed in this video today is the radio, y'all, because the only radio in the GT5 did mess up. Now I could go the route of going with a um like the the two din like replacement it has like the ac controls at the top and i'm placing the screen with the radio with a carplay screen which is pretty cool i'm not gonna lie that's pretty cool but i don't know if i feel like doing all the wiring y'all and the wiring is not like you know straight like cut well it's pretty easy because i've done the wiring like for my headlights and whatnot and stuff but i don't really feel like doing the wiring honestly like it is a lot of work to do all that wiring but i might have to do it because i did order a replacement radio i got it they um they end up cutting the wires, so I had to wire it anyway. So now I'm trying to return it because if I have to wire it regardless, I'm I rather wiring a new car place for it, not just a OEM. Like I try to replace it with a new OEM one, but I'm the company ended up cutting it. That's a whole big thing right now. I'm trying to return it. They're not responding or anything. I'll figure that out soon. But we may get CarPlay in this car. I don't. I feel like it'll be crazy if this car has CarPlay before the G37 because like how long have I had my car and not have CarPlay, y'all? A long time y'all so i don't want to do the no car play i don't want to do the car play kind of but i might have to do it anyways y'all let's roll the clip because i got y'all you know, know the montages y'all know the 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 music playing do, 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 with the install with the actually i'm not using a drill but the ratchet and then like the, the seats go in and then you see the seats and then you see the door panels and you'd be like yo what all right, y'all. So fortunately enough, I didn't do the Starlight headliner on this car, and it made it a whole much easier just to put the headliner back in because you know with the Starlight one, you can't bend it or anything because like you kind of you know glued everything in. But after I got the headliner, I did have to put like the rear like I don't know what you call it, it like a rear shelf. I don't know what you call this thing, but you know you put that in. I had to put the seatbelts back in. I did paint the seatbelts. Some of them do look a little bit more gray than black, so I might have to go back in and like repaint those. But that part of stuff like it went back in pretty easily. After that, I was able to put like some of the back side trim in. And those panels were, were pretty smooth i'm not gonna lie with the with the panels in i was able to you know get the seats right and then they start moving on to the seats but so i actually didn't do the door cards but the door cards were actually pretty fun to do in my opinion i mean as fun as it can be when trying to get a project done the hardest part for these door cards was getting the edges done without getting the, the paint on the black because the black part that's right next to the edges is actually used to be tan so i literally had to get a piece of paper dip it into the paint and dip the paint to those edges. I even poured paint to some of the edges that you've seen before. And it, it was hard, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. This took a while, but the final product looked good. I even like, you know, let the paint just drip down because at one point I got so lazy that I was like, yo, I'm not gonna just keep doing this. So I poured paint to a gap and I just held the door card, you know, using gravity on my side and let it drip right down. The armrest piece for the door cards were pretty fun too. Cause like it, it, it's easy, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. This stuff is was, was decently easy enough to get done. So as you see here, I'm applying a top coat with like a sealer coat just to make sure that, you know, the paint doesn't transfer or anything. So you don't want your, you know, your jeans to run off on the dye and you don't want the dye to run off on your pants or anything. So this is this layer is basically to allow that the paint on the seat stay on the seat and don't get on anything else. And the final product with that transfer was amazing. Who 
Hey. I'm not gonna lie. That went way easier than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be struggling with this one. I think take the screws out there. Screw that. Three. One. Bro, I can't tell you all the screws. I don't know why I did them so long. Oh, wait. Oh. I just tell you this right there. I thought I was losing it. Uh-oh. It's hot as fuck, y'all. It's not yeah, hot, bro. It's not humid. Bro, that other day was worse, bro. It was one day. It was like... So they was going to work, I think. Yeah, 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 bro. It was dumb out there. Inside the car was dumb. I felt like 93, bro. I'm over here dying. They got niggas in Arizona at 115 degrees and shit working on cars outside. I ain't gonna lie. People in Arizona, y'all some, y'all some, y'all some strong people, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Because I wasn't doing it. Bro, I'm, I think I'm tripping, bro. I think I'm bugging. Send the cost to it first. That's that would be okay. You gotta see it. Damn, bro, looking like a car again. I don't know where you plug these in. I'm surprised you even got the motorized seats, honestly. Huh? I'm surprised this year you even got motorized seats. I think it's pretty good. 2000, 2000, 2005? Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. My what? shit don't even got that, nigga. I got more than my seats. Oh, nigga. <laughs> Man, you living in the past, bro. <laughs> that ass. It's a nice shot. Bro, this one hand right here is really strong right now, y'all, because this chair, dumb heavy. Look at the last clip here. Look at the damn chair down. Look at her sweating balls, yo. Oh. Oh. This chair should move. Look at that. Right? People are right. Yeah. I just want the seat, yo. One of the side, like this side of the seat don't go up and back, bro. Only this side goes back and forth. That's weird as hell. But to be honest, I can't fix it right now, yo. But it's honestly not that big of a deal for real. Cause like the seat still moves, it's just like it gets like jammed up a little bit. But I mean, no one's driving with their seats like damn they're all the way down back anyway. I mean just a minute. Yes, sir, looking like a car again. All right, y'all, it is later on the same day. And I'm not gonna lie, I am super tired. I've been up pretty early today. I had early work in the morning. I'm, I'm just crazy tired. But this, this is about the remainder of the black interior parts. It's not pretty, it's not much left, honestly, to tell you guys. I pretty much put a lot of stuff inside the car. Little by little. Some of the stuff I did off camera, stuff I did on camera. But right now, all I gotta do is finalize. Finalize. I am too tired for this, y'all. Yeah, oh boy, God, I'm dropping stuff. This one looks pretty orange right now because the sun is hitting it, but like behind the sun, like, look at that. Behind the sun, whew. These red seats, y'all. I don't know. I do got, I don't know if anyone has the same like problem, but with the vinyl and like fabric paint, y'all, I swear like it chips. Don't look at the red, don't, the red is, yeah, I, I, I know that. Yeah. It's just that this is sagging a little bit. It's supposed to be up here. But anyways, like I said, back to the, the, the vinyl fabric. I feel like this, this, 
these they be chipping y'all like i don't i don't know if, like anyone else has that problem when they use the, the paint or am i maybe i'm doing something wrong am I, am I not prepping it right i mean yeah the sun is really heavy right now i probably could be using more primer on this stuff like maybe like it's the lack of primer is why it's like chipping like that 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 could be like a you know my error but i don't know yeah i i feel like they shouldn't be chipping still like that but let's just roll the clip let's get everything installed y'all y'all the seats is in the car and i'm not gonna lie they look crazy good right now like bro uh, the door cars aren't in yet i, I have to wait in the door cars i actually just um what you call it uh what's that that top coat thing i forget what it's called right now but i just put the top coat on the door card uh handles so i went for those to dry because i want those to be you know pretty pristine and crisp when they're done but bro these seats yeah these red seats i don't know something about it is just like yo this is tough yo this is this is tough like bro bro i'm not gonna lie though the only i am having a problem with one of the seats I don't know what it's up like uh the driver's seat it doesn't roll back completely like one side of the rails rolls back and the other side don't roll back i don't know what's up with that honestly i'll figure it out another time to be honest with you guys because not today but i'm waiting the door cars to dry it's getting pretty dark so hopefully i have some light if i do have some light i'll put the door cars in today if not put the door cars in bright early tomorrow morning and we'll see how those look but boy right now i'm pretty excited y'all i'm pretty excited how this is gonna look so I'm gonna show, I'm show you guys the final results right now. All right, y'all, so installing the door cars is actually pretty easy. The first thing I had to do was just put the door handle on and then actually put some clips in. I tried to put like the sound deadening, but it wasn't staying still. So it took me a while to get that to stay in, but the clips was the last thing to get in. And this clip is just on the bottom side and the top really just slides in. And then there's like some two screws I put on the door to pull handles are and there's one screw behind the actual door handle itself this is a better angle so you guys actually see what i'm talking about so you understand like all right what i'm screwing in but the, the door handles right now y'all these door cars looking looking pretty crazy i'm not gonna lie like that, that red is really standing out and it, it's, it's really pulling together that luxury interior if you ask me i don't know but i'll let the clip roll that can tell me what y'all think all right y'all so i do have the finishing pieces for this door which is actually these right here. These were the old wood trim that I took and wrapped in carbon fiber. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know which one goes to which door exactly. But I mean, it's not that hard to figure out. I know that this is a right hand. This is a right hand. Do the same size, though. Do it close to size, so I'm guessing they're the same. Let's see, we got here. Hopefully, this is a Kind of messed up now. I don't know what happened right here. Just like, you know, okay. Yeah. Oh, let's drop it. That looks crazy. That. That right there. Hold on, let me get y'all. Oh my God, that is. Crazy. What? What? Listen to this, listen to the rear, listen to the rear. Hi, y'all. All in all, I am so incredibly happy how this car has turned out so far. The seats look great. The door cars look great. I feel like the carbon accent is perfect on that. The only thing I have to do is actually put some carbon on the rear air vent. As you see, I didn't, if you look in the detail shots a little better, it's kind of messed up, but that's all right because I'm going to put some carbon fiber over to cover up the messed up parts and leave the vents black. But the only thing I'm missing from this car right now is actually the radio and the shift uh, the shift column. Y'all seen the shift column with the carbon fiber wrap on that too. So that is going to look crazy once that actually goes inside. I cannot wait. I kind of want, I want to take the car for a drive right now. Just, you know, just to, just to go take some pictures somewhere else. That's not like this right here, this background. But I have realized that one of the struts in the back, well, not the strut in the back, the, what you call it, the back spring is like, it's like higher. Like, I don't know why, like the, the back spring where I was working on the wheel bearing is higher than the regular sides. And I don't know what's up with that, but that's fine. 
y'all y'all know this. this is a full build so we got some suspension coming for this car that's actually gonna be most likely next and before i let y'all go wheels next for the car y'all next video wheels suspension it's gonna be crazy y'all well maybe not next video i might have a surprise anyways y'all make sure to like comment subscribe let me know what y'all think on the gta5 what y'all think i should do next like or you know give me some suggestions some ideas what do you guys think this like yo you need to add this to the car you need to do this mod like something that's like yo eye catching whatnot whatever it is let me know down below y'all anyways peace